Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the League Pass Random Match League Season 6. It is the start of playoffs here as we get started here with if the Kakariko Division playoffs here. We have J.K. Lowell, and don't forget to track us. J.K. Lowell represented by Radical Sniper 99 and Lyoria. Don't forget to track us represented by Flip Hill and Ike here. How's it going, folks? I am Wolfling0370, and joining me on the mic tonight is Blue Link. How's it going? Oh, it's great. I I love returns. It's such a cool mode. Indeed. Now, I believe this is a very interesting match here regarding these two teams, because they are actually coming out of the group stages here. They were pretty much neck and neck. Yeah, they were both 9 and 5. Uh, they did meet in the uh, Enemizer week, where um, Don't Forget to Track Us took that 2 and 0. Oh. So Don't Forget to Track Us, as a result, is the, currently the higher seed between these two, despite the tied record. But I believe this is the best 2 and 3, and the loser gets eliminated. So it's going to be very interesting to see here. As we get started with this co-op retrance, it is info share, or like our previous weeks have been. So our runners are going to be splitting up and sharing the information here. In terms of the mode, though, so in terms of retrance, well, to explain it briefly, we're going to be going back to a little bit of week six here, in which we're doing cross-world key sanity. But there's a little extra trick to this. You might be noticing a few other things here. There. And that is because we're also playing this on the retro style O mode. Which is not something that's run that often, if you come to know. So, the best way to describe it is simply put, we're playing with Zelda 1 mechanics. There's take any caves, caves, arrows cost money instead of having ammunition, and, and the keys are not specific to their dungeons. You can use them however you want, and you can even buy some extra ones. Yeah, we'll probably be seeing a lot of keys being purchased by our runners at some point. Yes, and as you can see here, here we have Larry already in Thieves Town. That is because we are also in Crossworld as we get the Fire Rod. Nice. Which means all the entrances are shuffled. Light and Dark Worlds can connect to each other through connectors. Here's so the Moon Pearl and the Mirror is going to be pretty valuable to find. And of course, we also have the key Sandy, which means all the maps, compasses, big keys, and all the now unlinked small keys are scattered around the world. So there's quite a bit of fun already going on. Uh, there was 300 rupees in Link's house. We have Flip Heel doing a Hulahan, so he's going to have Zora money, just won't be able to get to Zora very efficiently yet. Mordecai having some bombs is a good refill. Okay, so Leoria is declining to take the Super Bunny Cave connector, but Ike here is going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Jesse has found the old man on the, on the mountain, and he's going to turn him in. Comes the Kansas Carrot. Unfortunately, not that useful at all. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Kansas, you find Swamp Palace there over in the old man's house. Uh, how Key Sanity works is that the maps and compasses have added functionality. Maps give us our information if we do our overworld map check, and they also give us an in indicator inside the dungeons themselves. Unfortunately, we don't have any maps currently, so we can't do that yet. Uh, talking to the Sahasula or the Bomb Vendor, if we can find them, will also give us information on the Green Pennant and the Five Six Crystals, respectively, because they have locked specific checks. Uh, small keys normally would be locked to their own dungeon and would be scattered about as well, but because this is retrance, this, the keys are can be used for any dungeon. Uh, but not the big keys, though. Those are still locked to their respective dungeon and will need to be found. And last but not least, compasses, meanwhile, they don't really do too much. They tell us the item count of the dungeons. If this is boss shovel, they'll tell us what the boss is. But they're not really that useful in the grand scheme of things. Well, of note, um, that Super Bunny Cave connector just took us to a dead end on Dark Death Mountain, but the flippers were in there. 
Leoria, after doing some more exploring, has decided to take the Super Bunny Cave connector. Uh, Jesse was over at Ice Rod Cave, but he found out that he does not have any bombs, unfortunately. Yeah, now, we have seen the drop down to Uncle, and that is something we should also mention about entrances. There are some restrictions to how the entrances can be shuffled. First off, uh, Link's House is always going to be Link's House. It's a static starting point that our runners can rely upon. And the drop-down points that lead to other drop and their respective pairs, those are all shuffled within each other. So Ganon could be in the grave, or it could be on the pyramid again. It is fast Ganon, though, so we don't have to climb Aganum ta uh, Ganon's tower. I mean, we may end up required to do that for other reasons, but that's a question for later on. Yeah, so far I have not seen Ganon's tower yet. Or they're getting a drop down. Which is both a bad and a good thing. Spitz just moved to the north of the village. Good spot for them. Oh, Jesse has found his way to the Dark World. And that's Paradox Cave over on uh, Lahoria's side. And she does have bombs to be able to get these two chests here that Jesse did not when he found this place. A map to Eastern Palace and a shield. Shield can have some uses. Some people don't like it, but I, I will always respect the, the fighter shield because it does block that one arrow. And if you're doing fake flivers to um, the man on the bridge, that guard can snipe you. He can just see you really quickly and just shoot you before you even have a chance to dodge. Just bombs there in Dark Cross. Uh, Laura, Laria found her first bottle in Paradox Cave, and there's a hookshot there in Myershed. And Myershed is just off the coast here of Lake Hylia. And then you see there's our shop here, and you can see the Flip Hill has purchased arrows, but he is uh, that is unique to this. Uh, he has unlocked the ability to use arrows because of the retro style. That was something you had to do back in Zelda 1. And now whenever he shoots an arrow, it'll cost him 10 rupees, 50 if he gets the silver arrows. Well, there's Ganon at uh, the Kakariko Well, so we won't have to go through any additional requirements to go fight him when the time comes. Yeah, so far we've seen the Kakariko, we've seen Ganon, we've seen the Uncle drop down. Have we seen any other drop downs? I think Useless Fairy was vanilla. Uh, we saw. We have not seen the well. What was that? The cape or the boots on Hylia Island? I, it's a red item, so it's something we would probably need. Love and the map, meanwhile, found here at Desert Palace. Or, map that does to Desert Palace found here at the left side of Kakariko's uh, Hustle's house. And a take any cave. So, option to getting a heart container or a blue potion. Well, we've found quite a few dungeons early on. Uh... Leoria has found her way into Palace of Darkness, which happens to be a pendant. This is probably her favorite thing in the world. So, I don't think we've seen the well, I don't think we've seen Magic Bat. Is that about right? I believe so. Oh, uh, and if we've seen the... the useless fairy, that means there is something locked behind the top of GT. It's either one item or five items. Not really ideal. A 
like you're finding the big key to swamp. Um, that looks like our first big key of the race. Flipio, meanwhile, fighting his way through due to uh, the top of of uh, Floating Island in the Dark World. And that's kind of what the a prime example of how a crossword works. A simple connector that is the twin's house could just lead you to Dark World and you have to be there. Oh my goodness. Radical Sniper found a gold mine. Not terribly much he can do right now, but there are two quick checks here in Hope Room. And Ike here using the flippers to great effect. Not finding much, though. Tendon pod paying out, though. We found the big key to Thieves Town and the cane of Samaria. And the small key there. Just the opting, radical cyber rather, opting not to purchase a key. Kind of an interesting choice here, but at the same time, it does make some sense. He doesn't have a lot of money, and he might need that for ammunition. And so, not spending his money fruitlessly is a valid strategy. Looks like. Ike here is taking a moment to farm up Zora money. But the flippers it is in logic. And he's in a prime position to uh, head over that way. Old Man Cave is all the way down there. That's not an ideal spot. And Lauria getting dark worlded there. Okay, this is fascinating on Flippiel's side. So, you might be familiar with the potion camera unlock, where you use a potion and then you unlock the camera so you can get the mimics off screen and get the door to open. But it also works with a fairy. If you die and you need to be holding left, and I'm not sure quite about all the specifics, but it works pretty much the same way. Interesting. Uh, Brad and Cyber was going to do a mimic clip, in which case he's just going to nudge this uh, red mimic pixel by pixel out of bounds until it just uh, gets stuck in the wall and just goes up into the void. As long as you get them off screen, it counts as a death. So we're charging us exorbitant amounts for a single key, but that's not the real prize here. Ike is going to get the hammer on... Um, Zora Ledge. Lots of good items here, but one thing I'm not seeing is the Moon Pearl. We definitely need that. We certainly do. And there are a lot of places it can be. Yeah. We'll see where, where it goes. But he's going to keep checking here in pod, as is uh, Radical Sniper. Maybe he's here in the basement. These ships are in logic with the Fire Rod. And there and up, there is the Moon Pearl. Yeah, speaking of Moon Pearls. <laughs> and okay, the GTB. And the as well. So that Moon Pearl is a 
Very important item to find there, and I would not be surprised if here is going to go straight into the pod. Yeah, so Cyber, meanwhile, with his first bottle. Flipheel is navigating the Dark Maze. Does so successfully for the first item, which is a key. And a flute in... Wow. Was that a flute in uh, Harvest Hallway? Or no, that was on Flippiel's uh, side. Yeah, so Pendant Pod is absolutely loaded today. Yeah. Absolutely seamless uh, hammer jump. Oh, Jesse's down to one heart. He's got to be a little careful. If he dies here, that's really bad. But I gets the flute. Not. Yeah, that's kind of a catch-22 here when we're doing it co-op info share is that you could have one runner grab all the health and another runner just has nothing. The well's been found, meanwhile. So, it looks like Magic Bat is at the top of GT on the pyramid. We have found Ether, which may be required at some point. Yeah, Ether is still a good thing for uh, fights as well. Uh, Flipio found um, found the blue boomerang in the vanilla big key chest in pod still, so there's still more goods there. All right. And JT is gonna opt to grab the blue potion. Or. Radical Cyber, rather. Sorry. <laughs> so Radical Sniper looks like he's going for a Hulahan now because he has been stuck at very low rupees for quite a while now. Or not. So, we do have a question, chat regarding what was up with one of the old lady sprites being potentially a different color. Um, so, here's an interesting thing about this. Uh, because the Dark World and Light World shops are also shuffled between worlds, Sometimes you get the light world shop, a dark world shop in the light world. So it looks like the lady, but it still has the palette of the dark world shop vendor. So it, it's kind of a weird, somewhat glitchy palette, but it's still the same, same thing. It's a minor issue. Did we just imagine about it sank? Uh, yes, we did. And get us in the well. What's it? Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay. We don't have to worry about anything. Uh, definitely need to find that high account a small key, though.
Because if I'm understanding this correctly, that means our Ganon drop down, as we see as it is the cape there on Lake Kelly Island, the drop down for Sanctuary is in fact in get the pyramid. And I completely forgot that it was cross that has reference. Ah! We did have seven weeks about it. <laughs> okay, so Jesse's picked up his fire rod from Thieves Town. He's going to be continuing to the back with that big key. Wait, six of Lumberjack. I'm getting so confused here. Then what's... Is it the... Oh, Lumberjack. Thank you, chat. Uh, actually, that's Furious Magic, one of our trackers. Our trackers oh, are, are MVPs. Lumberjack. Oh, man. So it is an item. I knew it was an item. I just didn't remember which one. I completely forgot about Lumberjack. I was coming up blank for some reason. Same. This is what Entrance does to some people who are not ready for it, by the way. Alright, Flip Hill's gonna be getting the hammer now. JK Lowell still has no information on that hammer either, so that is one thing that Don't Forget to Track us does have an advantage of. Yeah, I'd say that's the biggest difference between our teams right now. Otherwise, things are mostly on even footing. Yeah, you can kind of break down uh, entrance into randomizer into sort of like three phases. First one is getting your play of the land and your information sorted. Then it goes back into traditional find your, you know, where, where all your logic is. And then the last one is just piecing it out of your Goma, when, in which case there's like three different layers here. Finding all your dungeons, getting all your big keys, and all your retro small keys in this case. And then just getting all the necessary items that you need to clear the dungeons. And actually, that lack of a hammer is going to cause Jesse to miss the big chest here. Uh, Flippio will not have that problem. Well, let's hope it's something that uh, Jake Yellow doesn't have to go back for. And now that I think about it, Lador is the only one with the flippers. Where were they again? Uh, that was in Super Bunny Cave. Super Bunny Cave, yeah, so... Radical Cyber hasn't been over that way, and it makes some sense. Pretty good blind fight, though. Textbook. Absolutely textbook fight. And that is crystal number one. Yep, we don't know if it's a red crystal or not, but that is still... Oh, first blood here in this match. Well, we're not going to have to wait very long to find out what's in the Thieves Town big chest. Oh, Leoria never did the front of escape when she went to go to Dark Cross and the back of escape. Uh, I don't believe there was anything important here. Uh, we did see Mimic Cave before, but Ike here now has the hammer and can go ahead with that. Speaking of hammer, there is Mimic Cave and that has a compass. Uh, 
Um, that's debatable whether that's good or not. That's the one of our mail upgrades. Definitely worth having, but not gonna cause you to lose a race on um, by itself, at least. No. Might be a problem if they dodge, if the team dodges both armor upgrades, but missing one's not the biggest deal. So we found a lot of dungeons here, I would say, but not a lot of, uh, not a lot of big items. This might come down to having to buy some extra keys just to get through some dungeons. And Rado right Sniper is doing the water checks and... Oh... Yeah. Where's it going? Turtle Rock, meanwhile, found for uh, Ike here. And he has no small keys on him, but... Um, actually, what can he do right now? I think he can go backwards up to Chain Chomps. He can also kill the Hokoboku and get its key. And that looks like to be exactly what uh, they are doing. Big key to Swamp Palace. That is one of our two big keys that only lock a single item check. Leoria is going to check out the east exit of Hyrule Castle. Yep, Hyrule Castle and Desert Palace are both connectors. And that there is another Take Any Cave. Well, now that we have that Moon Pearl, these connectors that take us to the Dark World are actually quite useful. Ooh! I hear taking a big bite of his health there er, for the chain chops. You can see just how dangerous they are. Six hearts, three mail. Oh, just gone. And the sick hit has been found, and that is our third and final medallion known to us now. And just apparently found... that little... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, he found another entrance to Turtle Rock. Yeah, meanwhile, Loria, that eastern exit to Hyrule Castle led to the Village of Outcasts. Larry's gonna stock up with keys, meanwhile Jake Hill's gonna or Radical Cyber rather is gonna be headed through here. I feel like I'm gonna be doing that a fair amount. <laughs> Alright, dig game, coming up. And it's rewarded with the big key, key, the Skull Woods. That is the other big key that only locks a single check and nothing else. Well, it's worth having before venturing into the dungeon, that's for sure. Honestly, true. Well, because uh, Skull Woods is one of the few dungeons that uh, stays in its little bubble. Although, I think there was a... Uh... I think there was a recent update that would fix that in terms of entrance, but that's currently not implemented for this race. I remember reading something about that, at least. 
Well, Stumpy has her Ice Rod. Uh, we still do not know if Turtle Rock is a crystal or a pendant yet. Flipheel actually had a small key when venturing into Castle Tower, and we'll go get the second item, which was just a heart container, adding a little bit of time to this death warp. Ooh, unfortunately, it's something that added a little bit more time as J.K. Lil, Lil's Radical Sniper, tried to use the hookshot's iframes to dodge the roller, but uh, did not fire it in a way that uh, allowed him to get enough time to pass. Okay, Flip Heal will be able to do quite a bit more here in Ganon's Tower. So we will probably see some interesting stuff. Hopefully. Oh! What a nice find! Our bomb shop entrance is the Free Sword Cave. That, of course, being a reference to Zelda 1's uh, very first cave that you find that gives you the most infamous line, it's dangerous to go alone. That's why you only play Retrans in co-op. <laughs> so, Ikir has ventured into Skull Woods without that big key. And I think Loria just got on her shield eaten. And and we just uh, uh, Flip Heel just found the mitts in tile room. Oh my goodness! That's definitely not a fun place for them to show up, but at least they're found. That might take J.K. a little a long time to find, but thankfully, in entrance they don't really need to be used all that much. Now, the Titans are hard-locking the mirror because you have to go get the uh, entrance first. That's another issue. But once that mirror is found, you don't need the Titans for anything in, in, at all in entrance. Uh, the big key of desert turned up in compass room in GT. JK LOL still does not know about that hammer also. Laria on the east part of the mound. This is a just an absolute hub worth of connectors and entrances. Unfortunately, that one is just a fairy cave. And that's a fortune teller. I think we've seen all the fortune tellers at this point. Blue cane found on Ikir's side, meanwhile. Yeah, that's nice to have while the cape is still not available, being on Lake Hylia Island. And Lyoria, meanwhile, found the front entrance to Turtle Rock. Let's see if she can live long enough to get these two checks. Alright, so I hear to the back of Skull Woods. This is a randomized entrance, and it, today it is Hookshot Cave! This is a nice find. Book of Adora. Very nice find. 20 rupees. The map to Ice Palace. Small key and lamp, meanwhile, on Lower East Side. And we get the map to Thieves Town as well. Flip Heel now heading over to, to the mip, to the random room. Okay, uh, we got Green Pendant, Ice Palace, Pendant, Skull. We had Crystals, I think, at Swamp and Thieves Town, and possibly TR. And Swamp Palace was a red crystal. 
Flip House Fred? Alright. <laughs> Flip Heel taking a moment to put a bomb on the shield chest. He just opened. Ooh, Bumper Ledge. Found. Another small key picked up. I suppose it is a nice thing about Retros now that I think about it, is that because the keys are universal, you don't have to really worry about the key lock too much. But on the flip side, you do need to make sure you have a nice stock of keys. And we just got information. Desert Swamp are our five, six crystals as we find the bomb vendor up there in Dark Lumberjack. Oh my goodness, there's our bow! Wow. In the GT big chest. Huge find for Flip Heel. Leoria skipping tile room for, for now at least. No, she turned around and is doing it now. This is good for her. Yeah, this is very good. Ike here has found Mini Moldorm Cave. Another sword. So there is Master Sword now for Don't Forget to Track Us. And now I've much more in the Ice Armos. King's Tomb is always checked, but I was looking away and missed the item. Oh no! Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Lori was like, one more check away. Big key on the library at the dark shopping malls, we call it. That's something worth noting. Flippiel is now going to give us a look at the Meyer area. And it's the back it's door. Bridge. We got laser bridge now. Meanwhile, Radical Cyrus on the back of Skull Woods. And in our third bottle? Second bottle? I don't remember. Third bottle. Oh, wait. We know all three of our pendants. Pod, TR is pendants. Are they? Yeah, Pod and TR are pendants, and Ice Palace is the green pendant, so Skullwoods is a crystal. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good point. So this will be crystal number two here for Radical Sniper coming up. Bug net, um, not completely useless. Oh, why we have a brief moment here as we enter the moth bite? Oh, well, I guess we don't have a brief moment after all. Never mind. <laughs> moth is behaving for the most part. Almost enter Meyer. Which everyone has this way. So Hasla found. Somehow Flippio missed the wall with his bomb. Wait. Oh, we have a miss mark. We do? Uh yeah, because we just got a pendant from Skull Woods. Oh no no, Skull Woods, yeah, is wait. No, TR's guess... a crystal. That's right. Okay, so there's our miss mark. is the one with the man turn crystal. Uh, real quick shout out to our trackers, Sari X and Furious Magic. Keep those items up to date for you as best they can. This is not easy keeping track of 
uh, four feeds at once, so we do have two trackers tonight, and they're doing their best. But with four people going in every which direction, something is bound to be missed, and we appreciate the extra set of eyes on both fronts. Goodness, this Ganon's tower is not being kind to Leoria. Uh, Flip Heel yeah, entering the Meyer entrance and finding the dam and the big key to Hera in there. Big key to Hera is pretty good. Flip Heel with the hookshot in hand does not necessarily need that big key because we can do the Hera Pot trick. But the big key is still nice to have. Uh, and now finding the dam, that means Swamp is completable. That is correct. Ooh, Graveyard Ledge. Flip Eel picking up those bombs. Anyway. Graveyard Ledge only have 20 reviews there for Radical Sniper. Flip Heel still with that hook shot in hand. is heading over to the east side of Death Mountain, I believe. Oh, that's not a great prize. Uh, the Pyramid Fairy bottle toss gave only a B. A B. You know, it's interesting how Radical Sniper is on 6 hearts and Flip Heal has 12. And on Blue Mail, 12, and I believe on Blue Mail, no less. Yeah, that is not the normal product play color. Ooh, I could try to buy a potion, but uh was about 40 rupees short. That is unfortunate. Alright, Lauria now into the uh Meyer area. We'll get the information about Bombos. Which I think is only currently known by Flip Heel. I believe so. Oh, here's Tower of Hera. This is full clearable. Kind of funny that Leoria did the same thing and picked up those three bombs when she did not need to. Eh, probably getting off their tracker. And another unfortunate thing here is Radical Sniper does not have the Beaky to Hera, which is currently in the possession of Flip Heel. So we'll be missing out on the item in the big chest again. Oh, in fact, Leoria is about to find that big key. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Also, I just realized that the mire is where the dam is. That's kind of a, a funny coincidence. You know, it would be funny if it flooded the desert instead. By, by pulling the <laughs> thing. <laughs> well, we found Easter now on Flip Heel's side. That's um, over there. I think that's our last dungeon we needed to find. Oh, no. I stand corrected. I don't think we found the back of Desert yet. Like, see your invitation here of Hive Cave. A couple heart pieces. 50 rupees. Mm, not really that great. I don't see Meyer either, but I could be wrong. I think you're right. I don't think we've seen Meyer yet either.
Oh, we should point out, by the way, folks, that the take any caves that have been added because of the retro style play. Those are replacing like the interiors of like the houses in Kakariko Village and other useless entrances. They're not replacing anything important. You know, I'd always wondered about that, but then never bothered to ask. That's good information to know. Yeah, so the, the dungeons are still going to be there, even the pendant ones. Ooh, well, Spikey found Spike but... <laughs> And another reminder that JKLOL has not found that hammer. Gina found the big swamp palace. I believe yes, they didn't know about that. Okay, I think this is Radical Cyber getting the <laughs> letting out a frustration bomb first off, and then probably going to go get those tiny smiths. If he lives long enough to continue on, he's going to find that bow, and I think Leoria is going to feel real bad, too. Yeah, this is one of the rooms you would like to have the cane in, be or the cape in, because you can just grab the wall and you don't lose any magic. Nice uh, little trick with it. Nobody cares about the cape when the boots have just turned up in desert. Big fine. That will also give them another big key, because they do. I do believe they have the library information. Uh, that is true, yes. Now, is J.K. Lowe going to stop at Compass Room and move, or move on? That is the question. Because he doesn't have the hammer to go right, so he has to commit to going full... Or does it the... Yeah. Words. Dragon Slayer doesn't have the hammer to go full left, so he has to go full right here. Looks like he is going to continue. Which right, is so a good he... choice, he just doesn't know it yet. <laughs> yep. Taking a small fall there, no big deal. <laughs> and the area coming out of the desert entrance, but it's on top of the balcony. Fortunately, she does have the Master Sword, so she can go back in there. And interesting that the back of desert is right here. Hey, another dungeon found. For the most part, the racers are pretty much evened up right now, but there's still a big advantage on Don't Forget to Track is having information on where that hammer is. Yep. On the other hand, though, Jake Hibble has the boots, but they may not have that advantage for long.
Oh, Ike, you're leaving the Hera big key behind? Interesting. No, wait, it's marked on his tracker, but that chest did not look opened. It wasn't opened. So, Ike here is probably committing to, based on that, to just doing the Heropod instead of getting the big key. That could be problematic later, because we don't know what's in that Hera big chest yet. That That's just a very interesting decision to me. There must be a reason for it. So, Jesse is taking that bow upstairs for the GT climb. This is now in logic, and he really has to break the bank taking out those mimics. He's down to 75 rupees, it looks like. It's best to be all being transported. Vanilla Desert Inch is being checked, as was Swamp. A lot of divergence here, folks. Hopefully you can keep up with as much better, as good as we can. Storyteller found. That's not great. First, just the Swamp Palace is a heart container. Smith's turn in coming up now, and it is 20 rupees for 10. All right, so Hagir has followed Leoria into Swamp Palace. Yeah, the interesting thing here is Laria can do the Specky Clip to get through here about the hammer, but should know that nothing in here should lead to the ha hammer. If the mirror ends up being here in Swamp, that would tell JK LOL quite a bit. All right, don't forget to track us now with full medallion information. I don't think either has been found for JK Lol yet. Whoa! I've never seen a double kill on Ambolas before. That's nice. Very impressive. This had a lineup perfectly for a one shot, two kills. I do believe that was Fire Run Splash Damage at its finest. But they were also on top of each other, so could have been either or, really. It was still a beautiful thing to see, regardless. And we're getting a blue, purple chest turn in while Flip Heel's on the move. Ah, gonna head over here to the Curiosity Shop entrance. A place you don't normally go outside of entrance because it's just a shop that sells the fire shield. But today it is our mini Moldorm cave. The, the, the mirror is at Swamp. <laughs> the mirror is at Swamp? Left side Swamp, yeah. And, and the big and key, a big key to Easter. Easter. Wow. Which we do need. Okay, that should raise a red flag to JK a little right now, because that means they need the hammer. But look at the money values here. The only one who's willing to possibly go to Zora is Laoria. Dragon Cyber has next to no money. Thankfully, it's not the Zora check that has the hammer. It is on the ledge. But Laoria is the only one with the incentive to check it. And, and Blipheel is immediately heading in. Right there, yeah. And the big key to TR also there in Swamp. I 
Actually, looking at our dungeons... Logically speaking, we do need the hammer because of Swamp Palace. But beyond that... I think we can get away with this being a hammerless seed. That would certainly be something. Yeah, because the two dungeons that require the hammer internally, Pod and Ice, they're pendants. Midas require the hammer. Terra, Thieves Town, Eastern Palace don't require the hammer. Turnark requires the hammer, but only to enter the dungeon. Normally. So, yeah, this could be a hammer of the seed here from JK Lowell, and they might play to that. I think it depends on where the the uh, Meyer Vicky is. If that's not Hammerlock, then they can be in go mode. Well, and, Radical Sniper's going to get to check out the Lumberjack here. <gasps> Wait a minute. How many big keys are we missing? Um, Ice, Pod, Meyer. Turtle Rock is also missing. No, Turtle Rock's in town. Library has has not the big key on Library hasn't been cleaned yet. That could be the Meyer big key. Yeah, very well could. The only, one could check it. the only one I could check it for sure is Blaria. So, Radical Sniper is definitely going to be feeling to Swamp House at this point. And this is going to be a check to the upper parts of Dark Death Mountain and Death Mountain, which we have not seen yet. So, we can find Meyer here. Connector oh. has been here this whole time. It's checkerboard game. That's that's funny. Another storyteller. I don't think that was the jump Leoria wanted to make. Probably not, but let's see what's behind these rocks. It is the bar. Radical Sniper about to pick up his boots. Yeah, now we'll see if they go there. Easter Palace for Lower East and Found. And Hype Cave, which we know is not much. I'm a bit worried on Radical Cyber Side specifically here. Looking at the key counts, four small keys, three small keys. He's six on Lauria, and Radical Cyber has none. Ether check, meanwhile, just showing it is just a hard piece. And our... Flipheel is about to find the boots for his team, which will be very welcome. Mm, it's best if he stays. Yep, he's gonna look. And. Radical Sniper realizing he does not have a key. 
That was a good call. I would have not noticed that either. Mushroom has been found, meanwhile. Oh, Blind House. And... The Zora Run Shop is going to have our, uh... Smokey. Bombos for the TR entrance as well. And the other mail upgrade. Red Boomerang. I suppose that's nice to have. Yeah, it's somewhat nice. Turtle Rock Entrance Shack. We have not seen this one yet. And it looks like it is one key fits all here. Bombos is required for both medallion entrances. And everyone found that pretty early. <laughs> so what I curious just stumbled into is a connector. I believe this one is sits in East Death Mountain and leads you up to the entrance of that cave. That if you mirror out of the emergency exit, that's we put you basically in front of that cave. It's a very useless connector. It has a couple of fairies in it at least. But it can lead somewhere here in co-op, and Ikear is not checking it, even though he was right there. Interesting. I want to stay up here in the mountain, to which I don't blame him. Well, here is ice. I believe this is our first look at ice, too. Green pendant dice, no less. Yeah, doesn't matter in the green few things. Something here will need it. Well, Leoria made the correct jump this time, but that was just a shop. Are they finally gonna check library? Nope. Our silver arrows are a nice palace. That's a good find as well. So, silvers, I mentioned this earlier, but because of the retro style in which our arrows are money, normal arrows are only 10 rupees. Silvers to fire are worth 50. They are much more expensive. But, naturally, they do a lot more damage. So, it's a bit of a trade off. Our last sword has been found as well on Flip Heel side. Ah, so Ice Palace having all the goods. Not progression, but cool stuff. Nice little rail clip there. Oh, Larry is not going to go into ice. Not yet, at least. I don't blame them. They don't have the hammer. Half the dungeon's checks are locked behind it. Oh yeah, good point. take any cave and I care is just gonna say no just want either of them I don't at least take an architecture Meyer oh, has been Meyer. found immediately bailing out so that's all of our crystal dungeons found so now we're looking for uh actually it's just, we just, item-wise we're in go, location-wise we're in go, key-wise we are not. We need that Meyer big key. And we know where one big key is. 
Correct. We know one is at the library, which no one has checked. I forget, where was the library? I think it's a shopping mall. So it's right next to their uh, old man saving quit point. Lyria picked up the big bomb and is now thinking about what to do to actually get the bomb to the pyramid. Nothing to not do it. Because of the way this is set up, it's a really long trip for the bomb. So it'd probably be better off to, honestly, hmm, I don't know. It's, it's a really long trip for that bomb. They'd have to mirror and cut across Central Hyrule, I think. Which is not a very fun way to go about. Well, Flip Heel is here in Eastern, taking on the Armos Knights. Ike here is going to go fight Trinex. Alright. Race is entering its final stages here, I'd say. So, good time to remind everyone that this is a co-op race here, and it is the finish, the winning team will be decided by an average. Now, this average doesn't matter if one team finishes completely ahead of the other because they'll naturally have the better average. But in, in a situation where one team finishes in between the other two runners, the average time will come into factor, and the person with the faster average time will be the winner. Right now, it's still too close to call. Oh, big key found, but it's the Dark Pod. Palace. I don't think they've been to library. It, it's got to be library. I just have this hunch. Like, what other big keys have we not found yet? Just ice. So it's a 50-50 shot at this point that our big key to, on library is just the Meyer big key. Okay, this is another moment of truth here. Okay, bullet dodged. This is just really strange. One of our runners has definitely peeked and saw a big key on library, but I don't think any one of them has gone to check it. Yeah, that, that is really puzzling to me. Like, you have all the items and all the locations you need. You're just looking for one big key. <laughs> Unless we're, like, completely missing something, which is entirely possible. Could be. Oof, uh, Lyria takes a fall there. Oh, Flip Heel's going for Hera Basement. Well, if this is a big key, then... One way or another, we'll know what that big key is on Library. Another thing that we haven't checked, I believe, is, uh, I don't think any runner's been to the Bombless tablet yet. Ether was at least checked, but I'm not sure about Bombos. I believe you are correct. Well, Tile Room and GT had something required. 
Let's see if the tile room in Hera follows suit. Twenty rupees. Two arrows. Pretty much, yeah. Not even enough to use the silvers. Money wise, everyone's doing okay. I curious gonna make a Hail Mary here. I think they're gonna try to bank on a that the Meyer Beaky just didn't leave its dungeon. I mean, it has been that case before. And I think Lyori is finally heading over to Library. Alright, moment of truth. Was it just here this whole time? No! Nope. Oh. And without that hammer, that doesn't do terribly much for them. No, it doesn't. So the hunt continues. Where, oh, where is this big key to Meyer? That is the last thing our runners need. Oh, look, Flip Heel's going to go check it out, too. No, I think... Oh, yeah, and Radical Saber, I think, is finally heading over to Zora. They're going to feel really behind here in a matter of moments, I think. Are they both going this way because... Radical Sniper does not have Zora money. Uh, Lori's going to get the cape, which will put Spy Cape in logic. No! Oh my goodness. They may have just written off Zora. Oh, no, 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 as... no, 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 they're, they're, they're tag teaming. They're swapping. Lori is okay, going to go to Zora's sense. domain. Oh my goodness. <laughs> JK Lowell is probably going to literally laugh out loud when they see this. And there it is. I imagine there's some small amount of panic going on right now. I imagine so too. Was that an accidental mirror? I, I that was tell. an accidental mirror. <laughs> Alright, eyes on Ike here then, because they were going to be the ones looking for this big key. Oh, another shield. The third one. Third shield has been found. Flippy will be avoiding that like the plague. I can assure you of that. Well, Leoria has returned to GT. Um, there wasn't anything required on the left side. So now, with left side GT available to them, they're going to be checking that real quick. Big chest of Skull Woods only having another small key. Doing... Alright. So, where could this be? I mean, it could still be on PED. Could be on PED, could be on Bombo's tablet, could be on Green Pendant turn in, which would be annoying. I mean, Green Pendant turn in would be significantly less annoying than PED, I suppose. 
And I mean, it's not like the big Keaton Meyer has been on ped ever before. Actually, have we ever figured out where Hookshot Cave links to? Uh, yes. I don't remember where, though. Well, if there's anyone that's going to check the pedestal, it's going to be Radical Sniper right here, right now. Because he is in the prime position to do a quick uh, exit out of Hookshot Cave, mirror, and check ped. And it looks like that's exactly what he's doing. That is actually a very convenient book location for this. Yeah, wasn't convenient earlier because we didn't have the mirror at the time, but let's see here. Is this a pet seed? Small key for any door. No, it is not. We can avoid that. Might as well be 100 rupees sitting on pet right now. King's Tomb Entrance is another place I don't think we've been to yet. It's the Chicken Hut. Uh, I think we have been here. Uh, yes. This had, um... Something of note, but not... I don't remember. The big heat upon. Ah, yes, yeah, something of note. And that was half magic in... Wherever I gear just was. It's easy to lose track of things here. Oh, here's an extra you haven't seen yet. <gasps> the potion Wait. shop! We haven't we... seen the mushroom turn in. No, and the only one that currently has it is Loria. And she's and going gonna... straight there. This makes sense. This makes sense, yeah. Uh, this is going to be Bombo's tablet from Ike here. Could also be our... Big key, and it comes down as a heart piece. Nope. Running out of checks! Luria could have found it! Radical uh, Sniper is going to go pick his hammer up at about an hour 17 minutes in. Now, remind me again, where was that mushroom at? I don't remember. Uh, that was on Desert Ledge. <laughs> <laughs> wow. One hearty mushroom, for sure. So here's the good thing. Is that if this is the big key, J.K. Lowe will suddenly have swung this race around 180 in their favor. The bad thing is that they will also not be getting a sword upgrade. Or the Silver Arrows, so there will be a Master Silverless fight. Oh, that would be something to see. It's interesting they still haven't managed to, to find that cave with the sword, because that was just at the bomb shop. I think that is their second sword, actually. I think the third one was, uh... The third and fourth ones were elsewhere. And the Mushroom Shredder was just a compass. Uh, Flip Heel is now back into Ice Palace. Alright, we're going to get a new check here from Flip Heel. Just two arrows. Oh, that's right. That's where the, the sword was. You're right.
All right, flip it over to Cold Stare. This is one of the last places we have left for our uh, potential Meyer Big Key. The other options could just simply be in a... Uh... Oh, nice triple kill. I can't see what the item is. Nothing important. Oh. Track for me said it was just a 20 rupees there on Cold Stare. I'm starting to think it's, uh, I think it's starting to think it's helpless or king. Yeah, that is entirely possible. And it's not the green pendant turn in. That's the kind of thing you get when you have key sandies. You have a bunch of little sort of like pseudo ice rods here, and we're basically on the equivalent of an ice rod hunt here looking for that last big key. So someone in chat mentioned Magic Bat. Um, apparently Ike here found the powder at some point, because I was just going to talk about um, fake powdering and how Leoria had turned in the mushroom already. Yeah, where was that powder? Did someone note that? Yeah, it's on their equipment bar. Uh, yeah, there's one of the, their uh, swords. So yeah, the last sword is in uh, Ice Palace along with the Silvers. And Magic Bat! Wrong size key. Oh, Powers and Meyer. Oh my goodness, that would have been a force double dip if that was there. I I think it's in Pod. That's what my gut's telling me. It's on the boss, I think. Either that or the big chest. We haven't seen this entrance here. Uh, left race game. And oh, or, no, wait. I guess we did see this already. I guess so. So with Powder being in Meyer, that's three races in a row that that's been the case in these playoffs. <laughs> the randomizers are having a bit of fun with us, it seems. Well, we are still looking for that one big key, but uh, don't forget to track us has just been clearing dungeons and they're quite a bit ahead it looks like on that front oh boy the shovel that was in the tr big chest that could lead to that could lead to meyer big key well everyone's gonna check that immediately flip Beal and ike here have both already finished tr so it might be a while before they get back to this if it's the answer, of course. Oh, Leoria is about to find Meyer. Also, I just realized if it's in the ding spot, that's another. That's kind of like having the Meyer big key outside the front door again. Oh, there it is! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. JK Lul is now officially in go mode. And I think that confirms this was a hammerless... I mean, practically... You could have completed the seed without the hammer. Uh, no. 
logically speaking, we did need the hammer to get to the mirror in Swamp Palace, which I believe was still required. Uh, the shovel was in the TR big chest, to answer chat. Now, Lori's got a lot of catching up to do here. That is certainly the case. She is at three crystals, Radical Sniper is at four, and meanwhile their opponents, uh, Flip Heel's at five, and Ike is about to be at six. Now, there will be a Tempered Serolist versus uh, Tempered Sil- Ooh, actually, has Ikear been to get the Silver Arrows? I don't think he has. Probably not. I don't think so. I mean, if he had, he may as well have picked up the Gold Serve as well. Alright, Ikear's going to be heading into the pod... D Palace of Darkness to finish up Helms or King. We now know this is not the answer, but he's running out of options. But with them having full clear already done the majority of Turtle Rock, them going back for the big chest is kind of an afterthought. It's a single item check. They're trying to go for density, which is a smart play in most cases, but we know it's the wrong one in this t time around. Seeing some cape dash strats from Leoria against Vitreus. Yep, it's gonna be a little bit of sense to take on this eyeball, but nothing major. Nice triple nice. there from Flipiel. Indeed. Gloria's got a lot of ground to catch up here. Flip Heel can just mirror uh, from where he is and go finish Desert, and that would be his sixth crystal. This might be just be a last location because they just completely forgot about the Turtle Rock Big Chest. But we'll see. Well, that's Helma down for Ike here, and this is going to be just a piece of heart. Now. Flipfield and Ike here still have a small advantage, and if they can find that shovel really quickly and beeline to checking it, they're in a good position. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Ike here's a... gonna go get the big chest in pod first before leaving. Makes sense. You can kind of think of like, don't forget to try it's currently sitting in an hourglass here. They've got a lead, but that time is gonna slowly drain away. Especially since uh, Radical Sniper just got his sixth crystal and he's heading right for Meyer. At this rate, he's going to be the first one to go to Ganon. Alright. 
I'm assuming you did pick up that big key before coming in here. I don't know if he did. I wasn't paying attention to him, to be honest. Uh, our trackers are saying yes, he did, which makes total sense. It'd be very odd if he didn't. No, he didn't! <laughs> oh no! Oh, whoops! Well, not the biggest mistake you can make, I guess. It's not going to take that much time. No, not, not at all. Alright, it looks like our double gonna try is be is checking their uh, last little bit of checks here. I think they're gonna converge unfortunately at the same conclusion at the same time. But there is still a lot of ground that Loria specifically needs to cover here. This could come down to an average time, and considering how tightly packed Flip Heel and Ike here can be, and have the speed advantage of the silver arrows. It could very well come down to an average time like, for in their favor. Super I'm being checked. One last location we haven't seen yet. Although I think at this point there's not that much it can be. Uh, I yes. guess gonna... At pointing out, um, Leoria has finished Meyer and TR. Uh, the tracking software has just not updated to show that. Okay. So it's a bit more less of the lead than I thought. So there's a little bit more in play here than I realized. Uh, she just needs to do Thieves Town, actually, which is right here. Okay, so much different story than I thought. So yeah, now that we know, now that the tracker's up to date, it it needs inputs. I know it does. Uh, I hear is finding the shovel and maybe too little too late. Myers pretty quick dungeon with uh, silver arrows. But Flavio still needs to go get the shovel. So you're right in that gold sword and silver might make up a little time, but I don't know if it's going to be enough at this point. I don't know. I don't know. And Ikear is into Meyer just as Radical Sniper is on his way out. Yep, and that is the last crystal for Radical Sniper, so we'll be fighting Ganon. It'll be 12 slashes or 6 spin attacks per phase. These for the first two phases. Afterwards, 4 more slashes to get through phase 3. And then it'll be a total of 12 spins in phase 4 as Ganon teleports away. So, this is just a cumber behind here from J.K. Lowell. That's for certain. There were a lot of things that could have gone wrong, and don't forget to track us. Really felt like they had a significant advantage, but that that Meyer key just turning up in the wrong place turn turned this race around. It really did. Amber didn't really come into factor too much, other than and the logical access to Swamp Palace for. It's crystal and possibly the mirror as well. This could have very well been a hammerless seed here, considering Specky. There's the 
Here's Flip Heels, Big Key for Meyer. Yeah, at this point, it's looking like J.K. Lowe will take a first second finish now. In the Torch Glitch, pretty pivotal here in the Scanner fight. Now, you might be able to see it here. You may not. But there's a moment where Ganon raises his hands up as he teleports away. And that is the opportunity to strike him for a silverless hit. The uh, spin attack is what we use mainly because it has a much longer active hitbox. And there we go. 12 spin attacks done. Radical Sniper will be the first of our two teams to finish. But it is not over yet. Loria still needs to fight Ganon as well. And they are about to begin the fight. Again, that finish time here real quick for, J for Radical Sniper. That is a 135. Laria pulling up the cape to avoid dying to these fireballs. That's Vitrice down for Ikir. Getting to the last of the fight here. Get to make sure where the silver arrows are. Get the and torch. torch. Yep, and we're all set. Ike here now entering the Ganon fight. And Flippiel entering the Vitreous fight. Now, the exorbitant cost of those silver arrows kind of makes it still not worth it to kill the little eyes with them, but two silver arrows to the big eye is definitely worth it. Alright. And this burner being used here aggressively to just attack Ganon non-stop here. And phase and... three now for Ike here. That's and Ganon then... done for Leoria. And ladies and gentlemen, with the first second finish here, J.K. Lowell will have the faster average time by default and will be the winners of this race. Get your GG's in chat for them. Well done. That definitely felt looked like a come from behind there. Finishing now with a 137.49. The average is roughly 136.45, I believe. So that is a time they cannot beat. And Flip Heel, upon seeing the finish of the or pro, both finishes of their opponents, has decided to forfeit. Ike here will finish things out. And we are now joined by the team members of JK Lowell. GG's, great work with you guys. Oof, that was fun. That was definitely fun to watch. GGs. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the shovel was something. We were searching for Meyer and the big key for it, and we're just like, touch entrances, go, go, hit entrances, keep hitting entrances, we'll find something, if something's coming. She, Leo finds the shovel, and she's like, I'll do bonk rocks and shovel, and then I think, what did we say, you were going to rush Thieves Town? Yeah, because, because of the... Um, these big chests. The, yes, that... So Definitely. she finds Meyer, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to finish up with whatever. I was doing Bombo's tablet, I think. And then I'm uh, like, I'll go into Meyer and let you handle, um, you know, your side of things. And I'm about to, <laughs> like, I bonk Meyer, and she's like, Meyer big, Meyer big, Meyer big, Meyer big. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I don't think it was even that, um, <laughs> that legible. We are now sure also joined... 
Sorry to interrupt you too, but we are all now also joined here by Ike and Flipio. Ike here finishing with a time of one thirty eight fifty eight. GGs to both of you guys. And don't forget to track us as well. Walk us through the scene here. GGs. GGs. GG. GG. Early game felt uh. great. <laughs> yeah, no, the early game for you two for don't you two on don't forget to track was just phenomenal. You guys finding that hammer as early as you did made us think for a long time here that J.K. Lowell was actually going to end up losing this race, but it turns out the hammer only really locked the mirror in the seed, and I don't even think the mirror locked anything too important either, and so... We got it the was mirror the mirror and two big keys. Yeah. 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 Big key to Easter, big key to Turtle Rock. Yep. Yep. Leo, yeah. after we got the hook shot and the, found the dam, Leo was just... I was just like, Leo, go do Swamp Palace. Like, just do everything in Swamp. And she's like, mirror, Eastern big, TR big, and I'm like... And I'm like, we still need hammer. And I was like, no, we don't. I'm like, no, we don't. <laughs> so we were kind of hoping to find everything without it. And then she did Zora Ledge because she had Zora money and I didn't. She's like, hammer. Oh, no. <laughs> I love how dry he says that I like, deliver this information because... It's so not that dry at all. It's no, usually Leo a lot is more a bundle chaotic. of energy. <laughs> a bundle of chaotic energy. I'm trying to keep myself together here, Jesse. God. Um, but no, it it was like when it comes to like entrance modes in general. Like I don't think it's a um mystery that like I am not super great at them but like as far as like our co-op game like our co-op game just feels good like we have really good rapport and I know Flip and Ike here like y'all have been freaking on the same team forever and I know you guys have good co-op rapport so like <laughs> it's you should listen to some time <laughs> <laughs> I mean, listen to us sometime. It's probably just as crazy, but like, there's that trust that you guys have that we yeah. have. It's like, like we had a like you, we know you guys of... do co-op all the time between not oh, just yeah. Zelda but also SM. Like you guys have all that time together as well. So it's like it's a really good co-op matchup. Well, and the number of times too, like I'll say on my end, like the number of times that um. I was trying to say left or right and said the opposite, but Jesse knew what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, it, it's just, if, if you want to listen to something that's absolute chaos and stupid, I did stream with the, the voice chat, so that's a thing. <laughs> and slightly inappropriate. By slightly, he means vastly inappropriate. Um, but no, like, this whole seed, like, getting that hammer early for you guys, I feel like that's gotta be really, really dicey in a way, because that gives you, what, that gives you Ice Palace, that gives you Pod, like, that's scary, honestly. Yeah, it was our first had... Dark World access too. So until Flip Peel upon the Mits in um, in GT, yeah, like, the, cool. The... We have all Dark World to do too. Yeah, those Mits were in a really rude position too. Those were in the tile room, and yes. uh, and two. Uh, don't forget to turn its credits. Going to Ice Palace was not a bad I call because the Silver Arrows were there as well as the Gold Sword. Yeah, I just it the. It, uh... The ending was just rough. I felt like we had so many good items early, but then, of course, one of the later things I did with Mitz was Ice Palace. So we got boots, I think, actually after the mirror. So, like, that sucked. And then, yeah, just Ice Palace was really awkward because I found it, but then I didn't hit the switch, so I couldn't complete it. And then, but, you know, so it's like, oh, great, it gets us out of here quick because it's just six items, but then, then... Yeah, the Meyer Big Hunt, we just chose all the wrong directions. Like, I found the Ice Big, so I'm like, great, I guess I'll go back to do it. Iker did Pod, and then, the you know, the real nail in the coffin was like, you know, uh, GT Climb is five checks, so I guess I'm doing this over 
stupid one-offs and <laughs> oh I, I did the climb i got that bow out of big chest and i was like fine i'm climbing right now i was like i know my boots are in desert because leo already found them but i'll I'll, I'm here. I'll climb the tower. Oh. All right, that makes me feel a little better. Yeah, I, I was tempted too, but like I was the just only like, thing we had, oh, I guess we had so much more than you guys because we had the mitts and stuff. So like the only all, thing we would do, the right. Well, she got the mitts really early, but um, Leo was struggling with right side, so she's just like, I'm out. And I'm like, it's cool. I'm gonna go get my mitts because she found the dam right after that. So I was like, I'll get my mitts. I'll go and get the big chest and ice armos, and then I get that bow, and I'm like, okay, I'm climbing. So, no, the only thing I think you guys did that we never got to was, like, we had found ice, but completely just said no, because we were more interested in finding Meyer than finding the big key at the time. Well, we were looking for five dungeons, I think, at that time. Oh! Uh -huh. I, I mean, we <laughs> hadn't found, like, half of them, so it's like, okay, where's Desert? Where's Meyer? Where's... Where's ice? Yeah, we had Where's, found the dungeons. Um, oh, woods. It, we were we were really just looking for mire and a big key. Um, at yeah, that so time, we, we rushed entrances. That's kind of why, like, when I came out of swamp, I'm like, I'm gonna go do the top of the mountain, and then like, hey, I'm a quicker way to get to the dark world of the mountain, so I'll do that instead of just running up. I run up and got a dark world. I'd be like, maybe I should check the TR big chest while I'm here. And I just didn't. So, I think. Yeah. I think when I was finishing up Swamp, that's when we were kind of having that discussion of like, you know, all of this is hammer locked, but I don't think we actually need the hammer to finish unless something is locked behind it as far as like, like hard lock behind it, like hammer pegs or something like that. Um, and yeah, and we waited like, for that hammer for Leo because it was like, okay, Leo, yeah. you know where your bow is, but really if we can wait for the hammer you can do left side gt to your hammer yeah exactly so like mm -hmm. i i didn't get my bow for freaking ever and then at that point i think we were talking we were like we need eastern does we need eastern dungeon meyer dungeon and meyer big key and that's where we were at as far as like for go mode i think because you had the bow at that point yeah and so and then what was it? I think I found Eastern. I was like, I'm not touching this with a 10 foot pole because you have the bow. So like, it's all you. <laughs> um, I don't remember what brought me to Sora area. I think I was getting the cape after getting, I was doing the library key. I got the ice big. I was like, I'll just get the cape because Keck and safety. And he said something about Waterfall Fairy, but not having Zora money. I'm like, no, dude, I got Zora money. Let me go get it. Yeah, they have Beeline there after getting the, the 300 out of the thing. And just happened to have the 50 Rupee Cave right there in Ice Rod Cave area. So I'm like, cool, I just twice I have Zora money. I'm just going to go. <laughs> and that, that was the really, really funny part about this, looking back on it, was I went to Desert to get my boots. Mm -hmm. And like, Flip, you only did the left side. I'm going to go out the center. He's like, no, no, we don't care about where any of the entrances come out because we have access to everything. <laughs> and then Desert Center comes out right next to Desert Boss. Yeah, no, that was... That, that was hilarious when I found that. Like, that oh, was fun. Yeah, really. <laughs> I was like, well, this is just nice and yeah. coincidental. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't wrong. We didn't really care about where the entrances came out because we found all the main ones. And then right. got that. <laughs> oh, man. It's like, this he could have been so nice and... Yeah, we just we blew it up. It was it was scary. Yeah, we'll see. Oh, yeah, scarier we, is this is yeah. just a rematch from week seven, really, between you two, two teams. Except I didn't play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, since and now you which... guys get me double trouble. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of which, uh, when is your next match, and what will it be? Because I do not have that information. We so. have it roughly put for Wednesday, I think, is the current plan. Um, Looks like next Wednesday, so the day before Thanksgiving, we have it, I think, tentatively scheduled for 11 p.m. start time? 11 p.m. Eastern. Um, And it is a shock to absolutely nobody. It's Pilot Spoiler! <laughs> So looking forward to that one then. <laughs> Pilot spoilers is definitely a good time for a whole. But this, so Jake, Lowe, you're looking, you're for now one zero here, and this is coming. 
Being out of the fact that you lost 2-0 to don't forget to track us. Us in the last week of group oop stages here. So, firing back at them a bit. I mean, don't forget to track us as friends. Like, you know, we we looked forward to that week. At, like, that was one of those weeks we marked at the beginning of the season. We're like, hey, we get to play that those guys. And then it was, you know, I've I race flip. I feel like he and I run into tur- into each other in tournaments pretty consistently. Oh God, how many? The beginning of the year was like nonstop. Yeah, I think. yeah. It just feels like he and I keep on running into each other. And then, you know, what I've learned is that Flip and I are always generally close. One person will take a race by a couple of minutes, and the other person will. And it's like, you know, am I shocked by this result? No. Am I? But I've been shocked if Leo and I lost. No. The way I look at it is, is that. The, our two teams are so evenly matched that somebody could have swept, been swept three games. I don't know. Like, if you know, then you're lying. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what? I mean, the lottery, like, just roll a dice for pick them. Like, that's. <laughs> yeah, this is kind definitely of one where, like, e- either team would definitely want the win going forward because not looking forward to the last two games. So, yeah. Yeah, and it, it really is just a coin flip here between you guys because you're so evenly matched. But unfortunately, one of you two has to go. And right now, J.K. Lil, you are currently e- e- on, look like you're going to be the, moving on here. With Don't forget to track us being on the bubble here. B- threatening elimination, I believe, here in the playoffs. So good luck to you both. All this, this, both teams I, here. Yeah, I'll just say, like, we, we know what we're looking at with the the pie spoy as well so it's <laughs> yeah it's not it's not like something that it's like oh we're looking at this like a free win like no <laughs> if, I, if i could say expletives on sg they would be coming out right now like this is going to be a scary matchup still like flip is a freaking good runner per uh, prd wong as a pilot is really like from what I've seen, pretty scary. So I'm kind of like, uh, like I feel like I have my work cut out for me next week. Yeah, and I know I know Kazen's a beyond pretty good runner. He's only, and then Leo's a really good pilot. So it's yeah, it's 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 gonna be it's gonna be pretty close. Yeah, this Hopefully is gonna no be a scary next week, dude. <laughs> you want to just rock paper scissors instead? <laughs> <laughs> Trips is every time. Well, <laughs> any final thoughts about this scene before we wrap things up here? Uh, thanks for the restream, uh, tracking in common, and yo, I had a great time tonight. Yeah, yep. Well, yep. Go right, ahead, I'm right, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thanks for the restream and the commentary, the, the last second uh, tracking, uh, everyone watching, and yeah, it was a good race, and uh, it's just I was in go mode before. All, heading to Ganon before you both finished. <laughs> so it's like, okay, we didn't lose by that much. And it's always two <laughs> races, these two. So. <laughs> Go ahead, Leo. Oh, I was just going to say echo to all the all the volunteers. Like, it's it could be said every time, but also um, shout outs to Finding Pendant Pod in the first five minutes. Just saying. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I have to say, I was surprised you didn't actually go back there, Learia, once you found the big key. Um, it, okay, I have a weird rule about Pendant Pod. (laughs) Jesse, shut up! (laughs) Okay, so the answer is always Pendant Pod, but it is never Helma, unless it's the green pendant. That's the rule. So... I wasn't going back. Plus, I think I found the big key to pod before... um, Before we found Meyer. Before we found Meyer, but before I even got the hammer. So, like, going back to pod wasn't worth it. But, yeah, no. I... (laughs) We had so much to do. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't worth it. Anyway, flip heel. (laughs) Over to you. Well, it's easy to all four of you for putting on X-rays tonight. Make sure to follow them in your chat, folks. And, of course, make sure to follow Speed Gaming, Speed Gaming 2 through 6 so you don't miss any racing action, not just in the link to Best Randomizer League. 
And speaking of which, folks, we don't have any more races for the league tonight, but we can see some matches as early as 1 o'clock here. Here, restream to be determined in at this time, but it'll be the last locationers versus the spec rock bonkers. That'll be their game two, which will be retrans. It'll be Scottish Brave, Nissan Alex, Zenner Kane, and Telmoran running. And of course, we also have the um, the open league side of things, and we can see matches as early as 1230 if we get restream set up for them. And they will most likely be on the LTBR League and its subsidiary channels as well, so make sure to get those to follow so you don't miss the open league matches. And of course, big shout outs to our two trackers here, Furious Magic and Sarah keeping those items up to date and keeping us honest here at the booth. As best they can. Entrance is kind of a hard one to track. Heck, and I know it all too well. Make sure to also follow my co-commentator, Blue Link, here. They have been great working with you tonight. And of course, you can drop me a follow as well. But for all of us here at Elite Defense Randomizer League, I've been WolfLink0370. We'll see you all next time, and thank you for watching. Have a good night, everyone.